just the community itself, um, seeing total strangers come come to your office and bringing stuff and saying, this is an awesome idea. We love what you are doing. Keep it up. And then the, the community care itself, I think the two ladies that they had talked to were, were pretty excited. Um, yeah, they were, they were receptive. They were happy about it. They knew where it was coming from, but they're also in desperate need. Mm -hmm. um, like a lot of food banks are struggling right now. So it was a good spot to put our efforts because they actually need it right now. Do you remember the report made by my colleague Tamara Ugolini about Arol Junker? If you haven't watched it yet, I will invite you to do so for a better understanding on my interview today. Arol Junker is an elected municipal council member in West Lincoln, but also he is one of the owner operator of Junker Trucking, a family business started by his father in 1993. He participated to the Freedom Convoy because same in the early pandemic, he was getting concerned about certain employees were deemed essential while others were forced out of work. Originally, Council voted not to investigate Junker for his participation in the convoy, but that was disregarded by the anonymous complaint filed against him to the Office of the Integrity Commissioner. The OIC investigated, even though Council decided that what he did was acceptable. Finally, after the investigation, not only he was suspended from the Niagara Area Council without pay for 30 days, but they require from him to pay back to the community all food and gift received during his participation in the anti-mandate protests around Parliament Hill. Instead of just paying back with donation to the community of what he did receive in gift at the Freedom Convoy, Harold and his sister-in-law decided to go beyond this and ask everyone to donate what they want to give back to the people who are in need. Today, I'm doing an update of what happened with this situation. Basically what it was is I, the commissioner, the integrity commissioner came to the council with the uh, recommendation that um, I lose $30, uh, 30 days worth of pay, which ends up being um, three pay periods. And that's about $2,000 that I won't be getting paid. And then they also recommended to council that I pay back to every single person, every gift that I received while I was in Ottawa. And I made the statement, well, that first of all, that would be impossible because I don't know. 90% of the gifts that I received, I don't even know who they were from. I didn't keep names, you didn't keep addresses. So it's impossible to do even that. So then what one of the counselors recommended was that I do an estimation of my uh, fuel accommodations and gifts in, that I got as food and pay that to the uh, West Lincoln Community Care Center. And then I realized what we did in Ottawa was we just, we showed people love. So um, that's kind of how the idea of a food drive came. It was like, if they want gifts, let's give them more than we could even, more than what they're asking for, right? Um, let's do better than what they want. And let's show um, Harold's family and our family were Christians. Let's show them the love of Christ in our actions. Just the community itself, um, seeing total strangers come, come to your office and bringing stuff and saying, this is an awesome idea. We love what you are doing. Keep it up. And then the, the community care itself, I think the two ladies that they had talked to were, were pretty excited. Um, yeah, they were, they were receptive. They were happy about it. They knew where it was coming from, but they're also in desperate need. Mm -hmm. um, like a lot of food banks are struggling right now. So it was a good spot to put our efforts because they actually need it right now. What was the amount of uh, goods that you, you give 
a way uh, for the community. The day that we brought it there, we had um, 1,421 pounds of meat and 323,223 pounds of food. Um, then $500 of school supplies, 30 backpacks that were filled with supplies in addition to that, diapers, wipes, pull-ups, toiletries, toilet paper. And I think we also gave them around $1,200 that day. We, in, in our church community, and our family community, we have so much support that we don't really realize and understand what a lot of other Canadians are going through. And that's what really struck me when I signed up as the captain, the three of us that own the business here, we decided we're going to be involved. I had the most time to, to get involved with in, in, a, in a captain uh, position. So I did. And the phone calls that you're, you were receiving, this is already two weeks before we even left to go to Ottawa was just numbing. Like the hopelessness, the despair that our uh, fellow Canadians are feeling around us is, is just um, mind boggling and, and somewhat sad. It is, it's, it's really sad. And we, if you have a big family and a big church community, you don't feel it as much as people that are living in an apartment by themselves in fear, right? And, and it, that's been really tough. I, I've been blessed uh, financially. Yeah, of course, I'm, it's going to impact me. I, I've uh, lost, um, I'm going to lose about uh, $2,500 if I don't fight it. And that's, to me, it's, it's, it's minimal. It's, um, I'm fortunate. My wife is a very frugal uh, woman. We, we don't, um, we're not financially strapped. So we're, we're in good shape that way. And, and this was definitely, like I said to people already, hey, I, I don't care about the money. If, if, if I decide to fight it, and I am talking to lawyers, if I decide to fight it, it's not about the financial part of it because I, I don't really care about the money. And even when we were in Ottawa, we had uh, 12 trucks up there and people were asking, aren't you worried about losing it or, or losing those trucks? And no, not really. And, and the, the, the three partners here, so that's my brother, Tim, my brother-in-law, Jeff Tenage, we we looked at it and said, well, what is a business and what is having all this stuff if we don't have our freedom? So it was, it's all this material stuff is not important to us. And, and that's been a, and it's actually been a blessing, right? We don't worry about um, the financial burdens of things. We, we, we worry about what this country needs and that's our freedom. And we move forward with that and we're still fine. We we're still running a business. We did uh, get shut down um, our CVOR, which is a commercial vehicle operation uh, number did was sanctioned for a week. So we, we had to pay all our drivers when they couldn't work, which we did no problem and, and we carried on. So we've been blessed. If we do decide to fight the, the, this report and the decision of council, that is gonna cost the township more money. So that's one of the considerations that I have. Like, I don't feel that it, that the, ta the taxpayers should be paying to fight something that is wrong. But at the same time, uh, I feel that a lot of the stuff in, in, in the report was, was, was incorrect. And they didn't have proof. Yeah. And they didn't have proof, right? Like there's, mm -hmm. there's no proof that I did anything illegal. I was never arrested for anything. Um, they, they, one of the things that bothers me is they, they said it deemed unlawful or perceived as unlawful. Well, that doesn't make it unlawful. So I did not participate in an unlawful protest. It was um, booked by the Ottawa police. It was scheduled there. I, I actually was in contact with the uh, two police officers when we got there on the first day, which was the Friday Oh, January 28th or 29th, when we came in, they, we were parked by the Ottawa police. And then even on February 14th, we had the Ottawa police help us. They and well, they actually, you. yeah, they actually escorted 15 more trucks up onto Wellington Street by the parliament. So, so you have 
so many ways to encourage rebel news and one of them is to buy our merch so if you are interested now we have a code it's the code summer so when you use that you can buy two unisex shirt and you get one for free so i invite you to go and check it out at rebelnewsstar.com and in the same time not only you support our journalism but you can wear proudly our brand thank you <laughs>